So with the result of the screening blocks not coming out as um, as we tried, you know, but how we did sort of predict that, and so did some of you guys in the comments. Um, now I have to think about the wall, okay? We have to think about moving forward. Now, easy for me. Let's go get an Ibstock. Toll crease him, Staffordshire blue on top, lovely jubbly. No, I'm not about that. You know, Stanley, walk down the road, you see thousands of walls, you know, as we turn into the globalization of things, you know, where people are just turning, Stanley walls cheap, whack them up. So I need to start thinking about the client and what would suit him and what would go with him. So I'm gonna spend the next probably six, eight hours, you know, while I'm working just in about, letting the mind tick over to see what I'm come up with and we'll see. Something's got to be built in keeping with what's going on, okay? Now, Bill is 81, very stern man, you know? Um, and you've got to remember, when we get to a certain age, we have memories, and those memories are the happy times. So, we don't like, it's not that we don't like change, we, we relate certain times with happy memories, you know? And at 81, I'm not gonna try and force a square peg in a round hole. I wanna give him something, even if it goes against the grain or belief of what I believe in, it's not about me. My job is to provide the wall to suit the client, which I think nowadays a lot of brick lads miss. They go in, like I said, tile creasing, solid blue on top, that's it about, lovely jubbly ad. You know, you see it all over YouTube. So, thinking of this, we're gonna put things right. Good. I like to just check the level every now and then. It's my old, what my old neighbour gave me. Her husband was in formal command. So let's have a look what's inside. Look at this baby. Whoa. Little line level, no no lasers, guys. Just a little look to see how she's getting on. Kind of is. Look at the bubble. <laughs> that that's that's a bit of luck. <laughs> I just like to see um, over this length of garden wall. You know that she's brilliant slightly level and uh we just like to make sure a little check without the lasers next best thing good good so i've pulled the long line and a lot of brick lads will pull each course each course to the line so i don't like to do that and i don't advise the youngsters learning to do what i'm doing because you have to start off more with the line you should pull one at a time till the wall goes in line but now i know the wall's in line I'll just use my level to plumb this up from this point, okay? Um, the reason I do that is because I don't like doing this and I'm on my own, I've got to walk down 25 metres back and forth putting the line up. So I'll just plod on with this level, but every so often I'll pull the line, have a little look, check her, see how we get on. But again, like I said, if, you, if you're learning, you know, discipline, get the basics right before you move on to this. Let's check around here. So she's doing do you know? A little bit hard. A little tippy tappy. There you go. Oh, this, this set goes to it. Oh, well, I'm good, isn't it? No, watch it, don't get it on now.
thing is, it's quarter to five on Saturday and um, I've got two, listen, the budget's tight, you know, on this and what I've done is I've got two involved emotionally um, to get this job done. But listen, I'm sure it'll be all right tomorrow. We go again, but uh, I'm gonna stay late today and tomorrow, Sunday, because um, it's tight prices. So um, it's just because I wanna, you know, Yeah, hopefully. One is doing it very
Well, the lion's scrapping the neck. <laughs> Woman, listen, the lioness didn't say to the lion, look after the cubs while I go out and get the meat. It's not allowed to say that nowadays, is it? No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you do say it, you'll be separate than everyone else. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, look, there's not many of them walls. They're all black. Like We're doing that. Just spent the day topping out the piers, finishing off with the blue on top. Um, we're still waiting a decision what we want to do. We're talking about putting um, a screen fence panel on there, like screening with our fence gap in between each slate. So one, it's ideal as a windbreaker. Two, it's going to let the light through. Three, it let the old boy see if someone's walking past a neighbour or something. It's still giving that that access to the outside world. Otherwise, all brickwork right around this guy's going to be like a fortress. And because um, he's alone, we don't want to make him feel isolated you know you want to still let the world come in so i'm um, if they haven't got the budget to go to brickwork in between on the honeycomb system what i've suggested uh we're gonna go for the fencing but um we'll see <laughs> that's come up with a bit more money we've had a chat and uh we're gonna do a couple of fences in the wall just to break it up so we've got a little bit more of a budget now it's a bit of a pain in the ass because i've already put the piers up so i was thinking what can we do to match the character of this wall and with the client's mentality being 81, you know, obviously we're going for the wall that's um, fashionable in the 80s, you know, to keep him in tight with his memory. So um, I researched what sort of details were popular and um, with everything I'm thinking, the thought process of that, we're going to go for a bit of honeycomb walling, okay, a little honeycomb walling detail. Now the advantages of this, why I've gone for this, one, structurally, let the wind go through, okay, um, to help support the wall. Two, it's going to let the light in to the garden. Okay, so the light and the world will still come in. It doesn't close them on. It's not like a fortress. So we still have the outside world coming in. So um, let's get these fur fixes in on these piers and uh, let's get this honeycomb wall done. Every time I get around, every time I get around. Bye. 
bother you, but you're beautiful. You're distracting me from everyday life. Is it okay if I could talk to you? If not, I'll be doing alright. Every time I get around this particular woman, I turn into a kid again. Don't know what to say around her. I'm astounded by the beauty of a full demeanor. Every time I get around this particular woman, I turn into a kid again. Don't know what to say around her. I'm astounded by the beauty of a full demeanor. As I try to converse, I'm stumbling over my words, but I'm getting the urge to say the things that's on my mind. The guy she deserves Gotta gather my nerves So I can express to you The way that I feel for you And I know that you feel it too And everyone around can see that we have Started to connect on different levels yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I get around this particular woman Turn into a kid again, don't know what to say around it. I'm astounded by the beauty of a full demeanor. Every time I get around this particular woman, I turn into a kid again, don't know what to say around it. I'm astounded by the beauty of a full demeanor. Every time I get around it. Every time I get around
the same there yeah. because you land frog down and then access just dump a little bit over when she's good to go
let this be a lesson to you because I'm not earning fortunes on this job. You know, I took this job on because I wanted to take it on, um, as I stressed before. However, like a lot of the jobs that I do, I pick and I choose and I smile. I'm enjoying myself. Okay, listen, work is a pleasure. I'm going home and I'm smiling. It's important. There's nothing worse than not enjoying the work that you do. You know, slashing them down, oh, chasing the pan, chasing the pan. The work becomes rough. So a little bit of advice out there, guys. No matter what age you are, it's never too late. Enjoy your work. Slow it down. Remember why you learnt your trade as a bricklayer. Slow it down. Enjoy it. And just put that smile back on your face. Good, so I want to do something special this morning in memory of because the history and the story behind it. So I want to put a little time capsule in. So I wrote a little note for the next builder. So in 20, 30 years, when I take the wall down, hopefully they'll find it and they'll have a look. Now what I've wrote is, I'm a working man who earns a living with his hands. Don't just chase the pan when knocking this wall down. Be sure to check out the original plan and rebuild this wall the best you can. YouTube, the traditional bricklayer, guard them all with a story. So hopefully they read that. Now, the old boy, the owner, loves a bit of whiskey. So I've got an old whiskey bottle, small one. So I'm gonna roll it up a couple of times, pull it in there so it's airtight, and we're gonna build it in the bottom of the wall so it's all hidden. So when they knock the wall down in probably 20, 30 years time, hopefully they'll find it. Wouldn't be mad, because I'll be about 65 then, if I'm still here. And um, they'll know the history of it, so it will repeat and repeat and go on.
Right at the back. It's actually secure. Probably see you. Message in a bottle. And God knows how many years. Probably didn't come and track me down if I'm alive. Right, morning. Gonna have a go at pulling this little extra bit in added to the job. This little flower bed planter. Okay, so it's only going three course high. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of detail on her. See how she gets. What's happening? Is the fence is just turning up. We're gonna have a screen fencing put on the wall. Well, what I'm gonna do is use my tactics and right put it on him. To see if I can get a good deal because of the, the budget and all that. You know what these fences are like? Loads, aren't they? All the time they been. So I put him live on the camera. See how he deals with this. Come on, Neil. You are. You want to do? Right, Neil, listen. You're live on my video. Come closer. Come closer. Quick, 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 quick. What's that, Rob? Right, the world. This is Neil. Fence craft. Look at them. One, limited. Right. Neil, you're live on the camera. So I'm going to put it on you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Screen fencing on here, we want, it's a win factor, obviously. Yeah. What I need you to do with this geezer is a top man. Yeah, yeah. I need you to sort me out a good deal. All right. So, with the loss of the ornamental bricks, the screening blocks, it was really hard to come to the wall. We had to really think hard and cut the initiative of what we can produce. You know, talking to Bill, like I said earlier, Bill's fond, fond memories. If you say he was my age, 42, that takes us back to the 80s, you know. And I wanted to give him something to make him fit back into that time, you know. And you know what, with a sense of feeling, I really, really achieved this. Um, looking at things as a whole, what a job, you know, what a job. Um, looking behind me now, the honeycomb, the way it blends in. Now, the interesting thing about this is, obviously with these heathers, you only have one face side, but it's not like saying not the face side, but let's not neglect the beautiful look of that, okay? It, do you know what it reminds me? I want to give this feeling of, being a young kid with football under my arm, we wham by my back pocket, going around and see me down in Grandad, you know, um, getting fed, getting a pound, go get some sweets. And this is what we've really created here. We've created that back in time, you know. It would have been easy to be globetized and just come in here with an ebb stock, tile crease and through. But we had to think about the client and what he wanted. Now, coming into this, if you look here, the screening fencing. Now, what I didn't want to do was to do a fortress and enclose him. You know, he's on his own. He lost his partner of uh, 30 years, 30 plus years, um, two years ago. And he, this is his life, he's gardening. So what we've done with the screening fence, it lets the natural light in. It's good structurally for the wind to come through. Also, it keeps him in contact with our neighbours. So he can say morning, he can say afternoon. And he's already told me that loads of chats with people coming by, stopping and looking at the wall. So... Have I hit client satisfaction? Satisfaction? I think I have, you know, and this wall was a big gamble for me. Um, like I said, it was easy to, to do it another way. Um, financially, you know, let this be a lesson to all you young bricklayers out there. I've not earned on this wall, you know, I'm not going to disclose what I've earned, um, but 
you know, an odd car on a, on a flat five day week is probably earned more. But it weren't about that, it was about doing the right thing. Now on the back of that, from Lakeland goes a tree, I've had eight, nine, probably 10 phone calls with all local walls in the area. So then I'll go on and pick a bit more money up as I go. So with the history of this, we've really created something back in time for the owner to, you know, to, to link those memories with and to really um, make him feel at home, you know, the, the craftsmanship, the, 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 the quality we've got here. And that's what it's all about, you know, and that's what I wanted to do. Now, you guys, do me a favour for me, please. Hit the subscribe button. Get my channel up there. You know, show the world what Brickland really is. There's more to it because there's too many channels out there now and it's, it's false economy, you know. Let's get me up there. Let's get me one of the best bricklayers on, on YouTube and let people see the heart and the passion of being a bricklayer and what it's all about. So, having a good think about things, um, it's been an emotional because I've been through a few personal things on this job as well. Um, uh, issues that I had and I had to put them aside and I come to work and I switched off and it didn't, didn't neglect or um, compromise my job what I wanted to do here. So I've learned a lot about myself um, and a lot about everything really. So listen, I'm gonna take you through a few other things here. Now, another good thing what I'm really pleased about was the gates. Do you remember in the, early on in the video, we was reconditioning the gate, bringing them back to life, restoring them, okay? It, easy to put a timber gate up, you know, like every other Tom, Dick and Harry. But look at the gate. Look at what we've done. We've built, Bill's Hill. The quality of that, you know, that, that gate was made years ago. We brought it back to life. And it fits in with the colour of the brickwork and with the colour of the fencing. Now, a big decision here was not to do the arches because I didn't want to take away the shape of the gate. So the way we finished off with the blues, I think we've made the right decision. And it looks, do you know what? I was just sitting there with a cup of tea and I was in admiration. And again, we've kept that old look and we've brought it all back to life. You know, something that I'd really love to see more of. So the man himself, the owner, the legend, Bill, <laughs> the man behind all the ideas, the one who who um, wanted this and wanted that, you know, even though it was virtually impossible, uh, we tried everything. Um, we tried saving the, the existing blocks and the bricks and we tried everything. So Bill, how's the job gone? Excellent. I'm very, very pleased. And I think that uh, the whole aspect of the, of the place now has been um, engendered in the fact that it looks very, very similar to how I had it before, which I didn't feel was possible. I was very pleased with the wall that I had, but this one, I think, I wouldn't say it surpasses it, but it's as good. Yeah, 100%, and that's that's what we did want to do. I mean, Mr. Wright, the, the previous brick that had done it, we, I didn't want to, it wasn't about bettering it. It wasn't about, Oh, I can do this, you can do that. This was about in keeping with the history of it and just keeping what he'd done, but just changing a few things. So in terms of the quality of the brickwork, Bill, are you happy? Very, very happy indeed, yeah. It, uh, it, it seems to be a different quality to a normal bricklayer that you get. Yeah. Um, who only puts the bricks in. With this one, we've got artistry engendered in the actual bricks themselves you know which is a, a very very good quality i believe um it's a pity that more people don't have it done yeah well, that's what we saw earlier on the video about the way things have just changed throw it in get it up you know you look around the neighborhood there's so many say similar walls but you, what the idea bill was not to put you on a, on a different scale but just be different and go back in time and you drive around a neighborhood now and the, yours is the only wall like it but if you go back in time you know in architecture to these people that really took a pride in the work that they did like christopher wren etc yeah and uh, the quality that they put into their buildings um this is on a similar scale really when people are taking pride in the work that they're doing yeah
things and trying to um, build better uh, than has been previously done. You know, it's, it's really nice. To, and I'm very lucky that uh, we found you, really, because it's very difficult to find a decent bricklayer these days. Right, well let's, uh, let's have a look around the rest of the wall and show you guys the finished product. So, a lot of you are asking questions about Mr. Wright. Lied to Right, okay, so this is what the development is of Mr. Wright. I put a post up in the local community on Facebook to see if anybody knew him or if anybody had experience with him. He had four or five people come down to the job and tell me about him. So, Mr. Wright, what happened to Mr. Wright? Mr. Wright was a, um, a very quiet, kept himself to himself sort of man. He used to work five, six days a week, week in, week out, as many guys did. And his only reward at the end of the week was a social club on a Saturday, on a Saturday afternoon and a Sunday afternoon. Okay. Um, he built many houses around here, okay, and many garden walks for his quality. And a lot of the people did say you should look at him and not even think him. He was quite a, a slim man, skinny man, very quiet. They said when he used to get his trailer, he was just like an artist. Which really I knew what he was about. You know, he, he wasn't going to be a pisshead, you know, or a wrong one because of what he had about him, because of the work that we'd done. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Wright passed away about 30 years ago. Um, now, the sad thing about the information that I got on board was um, he had a council flat not long far from here. So, um, like us all, Brick Lads, we work hard, probably wasn't appreciated, you know sometimes took the wrong turnings in life as we do and ended up um, in an old council flat so all the fantastic houses he built on the garden walls that he'd done there wasn't really a, a justification a reward at the end of it you know um, and I've seen many people like that and that's what gave me the, the kick you know to money is hard earned on a trail and easy spend. So it's so important for you youngsters coming up, you know, be clever with your money. Have a good time, but be clever, you know. And Mr. Wright died uh, a single man. Um, and listen, God bless him, God rest his soul. He lives on in this world, you know, and, and, and that's what it's about. So um, I'm not saying that he was unhappy towards the end of his life. It seemed to be he was unhappy. He was still going around doing bits of jobs at 65 years old, which I hope I'm doing at 65. So listen, Mr. Wright, I hope you've looked down and if you've seen me do this and I hope I've done your proud, all right? So guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get this channel up there. Let's make people aware, you know, what Brickland is, these youngsters coming through. You know, let's keep this quality, let's get the quality back. Guys, listen, God bless, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching.